come to South Africa, you will see heaven on earth. Sitting on that tree. The table mountain is next to heaven. All of the fruits I used to enjoy and be close to heaven. When you see good thing, appreciate it. This city you will not find it is not developed. I was very close, to, I was one inch to heaven. Hey guys, good morning. It's your girl here again, Adi. Welcome to the vlog. And today, <laughs> the energy is high because it is sunny over here today. I discovered South Africa, they don't joke with nature. See everywhere for yourself. Can you see the trees? Yeah. Look at it. In each house, you must find trees flowers everywhere around the house making the house the area so serene we're talking about nature look at the grass i also discovered that where there are like look at the road where you don't have the tag road or the interlocking tiles around the compound or the yard they always put this which is the grass yes and i also understand that those grasses can be very important because it helps the dust stay in look at it with this grass you don't find dust in the area look at it i'm learning every day since i got in here south africa has made me understand many things look at it yeah you don't put the grass you can complement with the stones like this These are stones. In Nigeria, we call them stones. Here, I think they call them rocks. Small rocks. Look at it. So, otherwise, they can put the grasses there. Just plant the grass there. Yeah. To kill the dust. Because the dust, per se, it's... Um, it's not it's very harmful to our health yeah look at this i discovered it's not just because they want to beautify the yard it also helps the to kill the dust like to make the dust everywhere not dusty making the environment very serene you can breathe in fresh air that is what we're talking about like during summer where everywhere is dried the wind can easily blow down the the dust like in nigeria we have what we call wild wind it was yeah it's going it's going it's going around and you find the dust everywhere when it's going around the wild wind it blows around so now i think like here if it happens like the wide wind happens here it's not gonna blow because there's no dust you still can walk because there is no dust which is making us breathe fresh air and now growing up we used to have all of this in nigeria where i grew up we used to have all of this but at a the time they started cutting down the trees for reasons that the poles which is the electric cables were not surviving anymore yeah the trees can easily grow up and um, maybe cut down the electric cables or obstruct the electric cable meanwhile here in south africa the reverse is the case for reasons that there are no cables hanging anywhere no cables hanging anywhere you can see it's all about trees everywhere no cables 
as you can see it's like a forest but we are not in a forest these are houses residential yeah look at this big thick tree right now look at it from up to down it's standing and is old looking at it you see it is very old the tree it's very old and yet it's standing it's working for reasons that there are no poles hanging yeah no poles hanging when i first came i was like there are electricity you have power yeah they say power in nigeria we call it light so i was like there is light inside the house and how come there are no poles so where is the light coming from how do you connect the light inside the house so i was curious i was like i don't understand <laughs> so they told me that um, they are under the ground can you beat that i never saw that i never knew there can be cables under the ground yeah look at it when you check around you don't find cables or poles like we use the poles to hang the cables so at the time they were obstructing hey, english is hard <laughs> english is so hard so they were obstructing the cables hence they had to start cutting which i would use let me put the english word deforestation hey oh, my. <laughs> oh god i too sabi english if you want to learn english come to me i know english i like just come to me i'll teach you english all right period period yeah casta taught me period <laughs> so what i'm saying is deforestation happened they started cutting down all of the trees purposely that's the yeah i'll say but when you cut down trees purposely is deforestation for reasons that they they cut down the trees because they needed to make the electricity survive there yeah the, the cables because they were obstructing the cables so they had to cut down trees but i'm wondering it could be like this whereby all the cables are planted under the ground and still have electricity inside the house what do you think look at the trees they're not obstructing anything for reasons that they are under the ground even though the drain is under the ground like this look at the drain there the electric cables can still be under the ground everywhere around i like receipts so this is my receipt you're seeing it you are seeing it when deforestation happens there will be lack of so many things so many essential things like in nigeria we use i don't know about here but in nigeria we use wood before we can put this the roof on now like because of deforestation whereby you're cutting all of the wood it makes the wood scarce you can't even buy wood anymore you build a house you want to roof it is a problem is a struggle for reasons that woods are very very expensive you can't even buy it yeah you can buy it look at this And here on the side you have the trees the, the flowers per se yeah making no dust so the woods are very very expensive not just woods yeah the woods are very expensive not just for the roofing of houses we also use them for furnitures like we use them for furnitures now buying a furniture is no joke like they are not plain when you want to buy furniture 
it is very very expensive on a high side look at it is can you see around trees everywhere you will think like you're in a forest but these are residential guys i don't know how these people do it here south africa i don't know how you do it like hey they switch me for body see now eh? hey yeah it's really nice living in an area like this you think straight <laughs> when you come out in the morning you see trees you see all of this or like you live in the village where you find all of this like in nigeria when you stay in the village all of these natures they are there then you think straight in the morning you can just you hear this nice sound the birds and everything whistling or um, if it is a city you will not find it anymore except you're in a village whereby it is not developed but here even though it is developed you find out that see now <laughs> all of this nature they are still there hey they are still there nothing taken out of it look at this look at this oh oh my gosh and it's a residential these are residential guys look at this nature everything is still there you find out that you still listen to all of these trees the the way the wind blows you listen to them they st and the birds are still there even though <laughs> i got to south africa and find out that you have in nigeria we call them fowl <laughs> but yeah in south africa i don't know what they call them <laughs> chicken <laughs> because it's english <laughs> i'm a village girl so village girls <laughs> <laughs> Nigeria will say fowl, but for here they say chicken. You find out that chickens are moving everywhere <laughs> freely. Nobody owns them, they are just there. <laughs> now go try them for Nigeria. You go see that chicken inside pot of soup. I pray. Oh. <laughs> what are you telling me? Me, I will walk past chicken. <laughs> South Africa has humbled me. Me, I'll walk past chicken in my area. <laughs> that chicken, I'll put. Eh? Why would I bother to go to the shop to buy meat or buy chicken when I have chicken walking around freely? For what? See, eh? Look at this. They just use these trees to beautify everywhere. Like you feel like you're in the forest, whereas you're at home. This is residential. Look at this all over it's not like maybe it's just one place so it's everywhere here like everywhere <laughs> oh my way you see good thing appreciate it i'm appreciating good thing that's what it is it is what it is eh south africa they are too much guys i went to table mountain eh, she's so painful i don't have those i don't have those footage anymore I went to Table Mountain. If you see what God did, Table Mountain is next to heaven. If you want to visit heaven on earth, come to South Africa. Come to South Africa, you will see heaven on earth. I was very close. To, I was one inch to heaven when I went to Table Mountain. Come and see. I will go back there very soon. That's why I ask you to subscribe. If at this point you are still watching, you have not subscribed, join the family, subscribe so I can visit Table Mountain. Wherever you are all over the world, you will watch it and be close to heaven while on earth. Yeah! Imagine, look at, see, they will be sweeping on that tree. Who oh, on this tree now? I don't know. And yet they've swept it under. How can you sweep under the trees? look at it so clean see i don't know if you can see the lines but they have been swept this morning they will south africa will sweep road they will still sweep on that tree come and see on that tree can you imagine <laughs>
<laughs> Under the tree, they are sweeping it. So clean. Everywhere is clean. Like, so clean. See now? Yeah. It is what it is. That's what I'm talking about. It's a good thing. When I see a lot of these things, I'm happy because why? I'm in Africa. If I was in Europe, maybe America, other places, I wouldn't be so um, fascinated. Like, I won't, it would like it won't bother me because I grew up knowing it's like this here. I, I heard of it, I've not been there, but I heard I grew up knowing that you have all of those things there because growing up we used to watch movies and um, we found all of those things there. If I'm opportuned to go to my neighbor's house because we didn't have television, yeah, if I'm opportuned to go to my neighbor's house and um watch movies there's this there's a there, 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 we call it video it's a cassette that time so my neighbor they had it so um there's this um 14 inches um screen television they had it that time so we go to their homes we sit on the floor they let us watch tv so we used to they we used to watch all of this the, in america europe i think they those they, they are films we watched their films at that time all of these they were there so i used to know but i never believed that you can still find this in um, africa like we have it like it's here in africa so growing up i was like yeah but when i got to south africa and found all of those things i said yes this is it this is heaven on earth this is south africa this is i'm not just saying it's south africa it is africa and we have all of this so i'm saying that i have to show it oh hey see chicken now see what i'm saying now far look at it yeah i don't know if my camera is doing any justice yes you have it there they are owned by no one. They are just walking freely. I don't understand. How can chicken be walking freely? <laughs> and there are different species. There are different species. Um, this one, it's one. You have other ones also. They are different kinds. They walk freely. I wish I could see them right now. I would have captured it so you can see. But come to think of it, who really own this chicken? Are they for anyone? Please drop a comment. Let's have a conversation. I really need to know. In the area, very serene. Making the environment. Hey, English mistress. Environment. Environment. Very serene. Yeah. I have to learn English so I can speak it for you guys so you can understand i want everybody to understand me wherever irrespective of wherever you are all over the world you should be able to i should be able to communicate <laughs> so it is what it is there's our birds over there what are we talking about i don't want us to deviate it is nature i am saying that the nature in south africa is still being kept nigeria they cut down all of these trees and they say it's development <laughs> in my, i'm a bini girl they we say that even though i don't know how to speak bini but they say development in magualo like we are looking for development yes that's what they say so hence they start cutting down all of the trees so that they can the, the space here i think here in south africa they say space in nigeria we call it land so that they can be sold for people to come build houses and the kind of houses they build they don't build it like everybody would um like uh, everybody will build like certain kind of house you can just buy your own space and build whatever you can afford and it's fine yeah you can buy your space just build whatever you can afford even if it's a small house or a big house it's fine but here in South Africa, i found out that um i don't know how it is here but i found out that there are certain like if it's a complex they just build a complex there all over yeah and this is a residential that's what i'm talking about 
Oh, we find out that there is no pose hanging. Growing up in Nigeria, we used to have different kinds of fruits like that time it was fun even when you don't have food at home you can just go into the forest like not is it a forest like the bush we call it bush <laughs> you just go into the bush that time you can get oranges you can get um um pineapples around our houses you can get all of this like oranges the pineapples the different kind of fruits there's what we call ebelebo hey god that fruit ah very nice we why did we have mangoes mango trees around everywhere by the time you finish eating all of this and you get them for free because they are just in the bush yeah so by the time you finish eating all of this you find out that you're full even when your parents are not home you're just full you're just okay for that time but ah, i went back home now all of the fruits i used to enjoy way back when i was young i couldn't give them to my kids <laughs> at least they should have tasted all of this like from the sauce i would have just gone back to of the house the way we used to do it back then just pluck those fruits give to them to taste it but they were no more there for reasons that development has begun <laughs> <laughs> they had to cut down all of those trees it is not what i'm saying is that we can still have all of those trees and yet be developed because those trees are nature why would we take down nature because we want to be developed why is this how it is all over the world please let me know drop a comment let's have a conversation is it like that wherever you're watching from do you take out um, nature because of development we have two reasons i also grew up knowing that they took them down because of the poles like the electricity cable all of these are still necessary around the house you don't find it anymore that's deforestation that's what i'm talking about you don't find them all of the trees are obstructing the cables that's why you don't find all of those fruits anymore you find out that those seeds are not there anymore because when you deforest and you don't have forest oh what happens the seeds are going they are going they're going before you know you don't you don't have them anymore yeah you you cut down the trees and you don't plant them anymore that's it means you're losing most of those um, seeds so most of those seeds right now don't have it anymore in Nigeria most of those seeds they are going we we because we don't plant what I'm saying is that the trees can still be there without obstructing the cables that's what I'm trying to say because the cables can be under the ground like as it is here there are no cables so we don't lose all of our seeds that's what I'm talking about look at it these are houses everywhere it means we can still have our electricity inside the house whereas the nature all of our trees are still preserved we still have our trees we still have our seeds we can still plant because when you cut down the tree and um, you don't plant the seeds back for another tree to grow then there is a problem when the trees are gone they are gone we don't have woods like solid woods in those days we used to have I, when i got home that day i saw woods like my daddy was telling me my father-in-law was telling me he told me there are, he he still had wood there is this thing we call bench we use it to sit down outside and even though the, the rain falls on it the the wind dries uh, the the sun dries it it's still fine for reasons that the woods are very old he told me those woods are gotten he had some he has some of them far back before i was born all of those benches they are still there and they are still very nice still very strong why because way back they, they don't just cut down the trees you have very old trees coming back from our ancestors 
they they didn't just cut down all of those trees so the trees now is helping it very very strong as big as this place right now just imagine there is no grasses here the dust in this place will be so much now you have winds blowing it is spring when the wind blow right now they blow the trees when they blow they blow the grasses on the ground not the the the, the sand they don't blow the sand because there is no sand to blow hence there is no dust there's no way you can breathe in dust that is what i'm talking about you breathe in fresh air i'm talking about this i'm so impressed we still have all of, of this here in south africa we're not in europe this is south africa and all of this <laughs> we have it like we are in europe <laughs> like here i can see now there are no cables and yet they are developed that's what i'm talking about this area where i am showing you right now it's world class look at it this is world class environment and yet they are developed who would say this area is not developed just because there are no poles hanging you see there are no poles hanging for the electricity cables and yet they are developed this is a is a world class environment guys yeah world class so that's what we are saying right now we can still have it and yet we are developed we don't need poles hanging put them under the ground they have to be under the ground everywhere around so that our nature we still have nature <laughs> we still have nature yeah look at nature as i'm walking right now i hear the birds i hear the wind i hear the trees making mm, like you think straight look at it <laughs> that's the bed just left me right now it flew away look at it no poles hanging and yet we have trees everywhere growing up all trees was cut down in my environment because they were obstructing the cables please drop a comment let's have a conversation if you can relate if you can relate period <laughs> see how they clean it partition it see this it's so nice i think we can embrace this culture cleanliness is next to godliness eh they will clean inside their house if yet come outside to clean everywhere it's so fun to see man i'm learning every day this is not to criticize anybody i'm only saying we can do better all over africa we can do better like south africa has done well for themselves so we also can step up our game and do better for our own self we want to have africa this developed all over africa we should have what it is to be like this i want to go to ethiopia and find all of this everywhere i want to go to nigeria and find all of this everywhere i want to go to ghana all over africa i want to go to zimbabwe all over africa we can do all over africa <laughs> we can do better